Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sneha Shetty, Clinical Director, Chief Fertility Specialist, Laparoscopic Surgeon and Gynecologist, practicing here at Vriksh Fertility, HSR Layout, Bengaluru. Usually a woman produces one egg every month. This egg is released from the ovaries and it travels to the fallopian tube where it meets the sperm and it forms into an embryo. This embryo travels back into the uterus where it gets implanted and grows into a nice healthy baby. In IVF, what we do is we give medications which can be injections for almost 8 to 10 days in order to stimulate multiple eggs. So multiple follicles in the ovary are stimulated and then via a small procedure under anesthesia, we go under ultrasound guidance and collect these eggs. These eggs which are collected are fertile with the male partner's sperms and we incubate it in the embryology lab for almost three to five days and those embryos which are formed are transferred back into the uterus of the female partner. This procedure is called IVF in general. So the fertilization which we do that is the egg which is placed with the sperms they are of two types in traditional IVF and in ICSI form. So in traditional IVF what we do is each egg is surrounded by hundreds of good motile sperms wherein one of the sperm goes and gets fertilized and a good healthy embryo is formed. This is the traditional IVF process. Whereas ICSI procedure each egg is injected by certain instrument called as micro manipulators by a trained senior embryologist in the embryology lab. So each egg is injected by a sperm through this micro instruments which is called micro manipulator. So this is the difference between IVF and ICSI. So overall the broad term IVF includes IVF and ICSI. So this decision of doing traditional IVF or ICSI will depend on how the sperms are and how the eggs are. If for example we have very few sperms which are good then the traditional IVF is not advised. The ICSI procedure is done wherein each egg is injected with each individual one one sperm whereas this is also done in conditions wherein the quality of the egg is not that good very few eggs are retrieved or the quality is not that great then we use this procedure of ICSI also in conditions wherein egg freezing has been done previously few years back and now we are trying to fertilize those eggs with the sperm we usually go for the procedure of ICSI traditional IVF procedure of fertilization is done in cases wherein the sperm quality is good and we have many eggs but then certain other factors are there because of the blocked fallopian tubes or anything we are doing then we can go ahead and we usually do the IVF procedure where well, male factor is not huge part for this IVF. Yes, definitely IVF babies or ICSI babies are absolutely safe and healthy. There is no issues at all which are noted. They are absolutely as healthy as babies which are conceived naturally. So if there is any genetic problem which you note in a baby which is born through IVF that would have otherwise also happened if it was naturally going to happen for that particular couple. They are absolutely healthy, they do not have any health conditions. IVF and ICSI has been going around for almost more than 40 years right now and we have many 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 healthy babies all around the world.